you know, I feel like we should have uh, had Blake on this one to talk about last night's. Uh... Oh, I've got thoughts, Ben. <laughs> I've got thoughts. Oh. Um, I don't know how many of those thoughts I want to share over the airwaves, where people might possibly ever listen to them. But I have thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> a great many of them, sir. A great many of them. A lot of them, which is the reason why I never showed the fuck up there. <laughs> the reason why you never showed up. The reason why AJ stayed in. <laughs> well, he at least, uh, it looks like he had a little party going. He's got uh, He's got the other vandal there and his wife. Oh, okay. And some TikTok girl came, so of, they're having of a little, course. So they're having a whole hang. Oh my god, that it, poor, it's a whole thing. That poor girl. Well, I, here I, I, at least listen. At least you know he's. This is the one, the one hangout, and then she'll, you know, because now she spent time with him. She'll, oh yeah, no, but she's got she, you know that that's that's what six seven years of therapy right there. She'll sour on that him. one weekend. I, yeah. So it all goes back to that that other TikTok get together where I told him not to go see this girl before you do the uh, yeah. get together because yeah. then she won't want to come to the Yeah. So yeah, yeah. No, I you know, listen, I I I was the lone voice that always was like, I don't want to go. I'm not going. I don't want to go. I only ever wanted to go for selfish reasons. And because anybody who went to that show went for selfish reasons. And at one point it looked like all three of you were going and yeah. then I had to go. <laughs> and so one by one I was chipping at the fucking foundation here. It's not hard with me. <laughs> well, I know you were always like it it just it depended yeah. on on the mood of the day. Yeah. What side of the bed you woke this up weekend, on. This weekend this weekend did not uh, suit that mood. And, and the so show going uh, mood. And then Anthony, it's always the same thing. He's excited to take the booking four months out. Yeah. And then as it gets closer and closer, it's more of the, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Dreading it. Don't want to do it. And then some. Then there's always a convenient excuse why he didn't. So he was dragging his feet on that. And I was getting nervous that the, you know, but then he's finally like, I'm not going. And I know Blake is all fuck us for leaving him hanging as the only loan. Yeah, but he got paid. He got paid. He he probably got real pay compared to you would have done it for nothing. And AJ never discussed money, so he yeah. would have been handed a mystery envelope, yeah. which you know because they never discussed money means that it's a it's kind of an opportunity to not pay him a lot. Yeah, I uh I can't uh can't think of uh any reason after what we knew going to act. Listen. You, me, AJ, Blake, to a much lesser extent, we've all ran events of some sort or the other. And I. Oh, so you want to go to see how much of a shit show it's going to be? I know, I knew. I knew. I, and this is, by the way, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, but there's. Uh, we all knew. Unless, I knew. Yeah. That was easy yeah. money. And, and unless stated but otherwise. But witness is a whole nother level. Yeah. To, to, in, in, unless I state otherwise, I'm not cheating on anybody in particular. Not anymore. It's just it's not worth it, and it just doesn't matter. But everyone knew the show was going to be bad. Um, it's just one of those things. You <laughs> just know. I didn't see it. I don't know. You if it just was bad. it doesn't matter to me. I didn't even need a card. <laughs> I just knew. I heard I, it ran long, long, and I saw some. It's still going on, Ben, in people's hearts and minds. <laughs> and uh, and I know I saw one customer complain already. So I I, I just want to state. For, I just want to state a well-run professional wrestling, or excuse me, a well-run indie wrestling show. Um, hour and a half, two tops, maybe. It should be the tightest ninety minutes. Yeah, I think every minute over ninety. If you were is, doing, you're running a real risk. If you're doing a show like this, we have to get a lot of people on. Two hours, fine. I can see we, two. We, yeah, I, yeah. It, well, getting them on, it doesn't mean the show's not going to. F- I'm not talking about quality. Uh, I'm talking about just. I'm just talking. No, but the reason to run at 90 minutes is is a couple of things. You keep the roster down so you can be more picky about the quality. But timing and like just like keeping the crowd and it not feeling oh the psychological aspect of it. Stuff, yeah, yeah. You know, you want you want. The it's fans. like being in a movie. Unless you're putting on the greatest movie ever, your movie's two and a half hours. You're checking your watch. Yeah. If uh, if you at any time have taken the fans out so much so that they realize like, oh fuck, I've been here since six. Like you failed. You failed. 
And the the best way on an indie wrestling basis, the best thing to do is is get the fans to a nice to a nice point where by the main event they're all into it, and then you're done. You're not you're not asking them to to take a rest break. And there's no intermissions. By the way, I know I I I've always understood. Oh, they're for autographs and merch. Fuck all of that shit. A tight ninety minutes. It leaves them with a wanting to come back because they know they're gonna have fun. They know they had a good time, and they knew that it's not gonna take half their fucking day. Well, it's just a thing they do. If for your two show's hours. ninety minutes, you can throw an intermission in there. And then it's a little longer, but you had the intermission. Yeah. It's yeah. supposed to be a break. But so it's supposed to be for you to get a drink and a little food in you and get an autograph and uh, get a little energized for the yeah. second half. And, and, and I Mark did them at the uproar, and that was fine. Yeah, they, were, they fine. were like, what, five, ten minutes or whatever they were? Yeah, they were, yeah, probably more like 15 minutes. Maybe, but yeah. But the show, the actual show, minus the the intermission was a titan and that's actually minutes, that's think. actually a really good uproar is a very good example of doing it right yeah. and 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 he paid the, always been. and he paid the price for doing it right dealing with the fucking egos and the nonsense that makes indie wrestling in florida just untenable uh-huh. and just just absolutely repulsive um you know and we've talked about it last week like that's like my main reason for being out as long as i have is i f- fuck these people man I can't do it. And I'm not, it's not any one person or two people in particular. And it's not, it's a, just a general statement that you assholes, you just don't understand <laughs> the business aspect of wrestling. You just want to get out there and, and, ru- you know, fucking shake your dick. And like, oh, look at me. I'm in a ring and I'm looking all oh, doing what the fuck you're doing. I don't know what your gimmick is. I don't care because it doesn't make money. Because nothing anyone does in South Florida makes money. Because all they care about is the fucking girls or boys in the front row that showed up that they may fuck later. And just impressing the boys in the back who are all like, they all, they all hate each other outside of the ring. But inside there's like this weird thing where everyone has this fake facade where Shake hands and yeah, 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 brother, everybody, and it's just disgusting. But that's not South Florida. That's every that's every wrestling. Uh, yeah, locker that's room true. That's true. Is the phony handshake? That's true. It's pretty much. Phony I, hand, I, I guess it's all throughout the fuck. It's it's the business. It's the business yeah. until you get to where the professionals are, where it's almost the same shit. But at least you're getting fucking paid to do it. <laughs> right. And and people, you know, I I heard I heard I'm not gonna name names, but I heard that somebody was you know uh you know, big time in people in the locker room and and. And it sucks. I don't, I don't want to go all. But, but I wasn't listen, there. Our so ace, I can't. Our ace reporter on the scene <laughs> is the worst. Yeah. First of all, complete. <laughs> old Blakey boy has a complete <laughs> bias when it comes to everything. And everybody. <laughs> and, and then also his, his like, his like, uh, what, what's, what's the right word? His divulging of information. Yeah. Is so sparse and frugal and like, like, you're expecting paragraphs and you're not even getting sentences. You're getting like three words. You're barely getting fragments. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. it's hard to go off of that. Yeah. When you when I hear someone's big timing someone, I can believe it. But also I need like trust but verify. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I trust that I heard that. I need to verify it, and that means I need a second source because <laughs> our 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 main source. While <laughs> if I got to vouch for the guy, I'll vouch for the guy every day of the week, but not on this thing. I'll no. vouch for him as a person, but not as a a, a man f- that can relay reliable information. Yeah. But like, but then there's the stuff that uh, there's stuff that I can absolutely have an opinion on because I can have an opinion of this particular person, big big time people. I wasn't there, yeah. and that person would have. Big time me, I 100% would have made a scene about that shit. But they wouldn't have. But they wouldn't have because... Right. They know who they can big time. Yeah, exa- exactly, can. exactly. Um, but it's here- not like an Amy Rose scenario. Oh, fuck. You know? Jesus Christ. Where like, yeah, I named a name because yeah. we've told this story before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was funny because uh, Jackie died, what, two days ago? Yeah. The anniversary? And so all the pictures have been rolling out and all the people making their posts or reposting an older post. Uh, you know, kind of celebrating him. And uh, uh, JoJo uh, posted a picture. I don't know where it was. Oh, it was from like, I don't know where it was from. It must have been Tampa because otherwise I would have been there. Uh, it was like a Tampa Road Warriors show. Road Warriors? Ring Warriors. Uh, <laughs> Tampa Ring Warriors show. 
And at the table was a, uh, it was a mixed selection like Tarver, Jojo, uh, maybe AJ was there. Uh, uh, Jackie was there. Yeah. And, sh- and she was there. And everyone's sitting there being social, eating together and whatever. And it just immediately, like every time I see a picture with the two of them in it, I crack up remembering Orlando WrestleMania where she big timed him and he literally cut a promo on her friend about it <laughs> right in the right in the parking lot after Wale Mania. So like a little thick in the evening. Yeah. Everyone's a little juiced up. Jackie's not having it. Like I, I guess maybe Amy Rose had big wasn't in the vicinity to get the dressing down herself, but her friend was there. So he berated her and like. I remember stories of her hanging out with them. She's been to their home. She's been socially out with us as groups. I mean, yeah, she deserved it. Hey. And so so that's a person, if you told me she big time, I'd be like, I'd believe it because I've seen it in action. She did it to me, and I'm the reason she's in the wrestling business. Uh, we- I literally made the decision to book her. The first time when that, that, that whole time when every – fucking week or two beast would just bring in some wayward wayward girl he found well no she had she had messaged me when i was still doing the super con yeah. shows and uh, had asked about it. i'm like yeah uh, just uh, find me at the miami show the big one the, yeah. the, my last one and uh she's like oh i'm the one that dresses like aj lee all the time i'm like okay i still like find me <laughs> i'm not do anything <laughs> i'm so fucking busy especially th- those dates those the, the <laughs> on site those four days i am so fucking busy because also i don't know i i learned better as it went on yeah. but at first i didn't know how to fucking delegate a goddamn thing yeah. so i was shouldering and so that much was the big miami beach show that right. had so many moving parts right so <laughs> now I, by that time i was delegating a lot yeah. but it new, was it was still, a new it was a new building it was new everything for it was, us it was a big deal for us yeah and it's four days it's four shows four days in a row mm. we're all you know and it's like herding cats because yeah. you've got all these children yeah. that were at a comic con all they want to do is disappear yeah. you know you literally live a month's worth of action in four fucking days oh, during these cons and so and so i don't i th- i think i saw her once or twice I don't even remember if she came to me or if I had to go to her finally. But it was like maybe she's I get it. She was super shy and whatever. And I think that came across when in the email or whatever. It's it dude, it's like what, seven years now? Yeah. Who fucking remembers? I don't even remember the story. <laughs> yeah. So so, you know, that was the first and then I think she came into the office. Yeah, Beast brought her in. And we I think at that point we were all recommending schools she should or shouldn't go to uh-huh. yeah and then i was at but and then somewhere in there i transitioned out yeah and you were still there and i guess you used her yeah yeah be, uh uh you know because uh i think i did it as a favorite yeah, beast I, I really do beast and listen I, I love the guy and i love him for stuff like this where like i mean he was trying to fuck yeah you know? of course he was <laughs> oh listen this is not this is like no exaggeration like it would. It, it was like a month or two where, like, every other week he would just bring in this wayward girl he found. But I also, I think there was a story about him trying to make a move on her at Jackie's house. Yep. Uh huh. And her fleeing in terror. Yep, that's correct. So, again, yeah. at Jackie's house, yeah. and then big time. To they all had. They all. They it's all, cool to hang out at the man's place. Yeah. And and you know use his bathroom and sit on his couch and yeah. drink his food and eat it and, and eat his food and drink his his beverages but then the next time you see him you don't know him. And, and listen that's, and listen that's yeah if if i haven't seen you in fucking i don't goddamn seven and eight, i don't mind eight, talking about eight, this yeah because no it's fact no yeah. listen, listen, if i haven't seen you in like eight nine whatever fu- however fuck long it's been like we don't need to do the hug the dance uh the we you know, new but like hey if i go hey amy what's going on just look over and go, oh, what's up, Prime, or what, whatever. However, right. you, hey, ass, I don't give a fuck how you want to, how do you want to talk to me? I don't care. And that was big timing him before she was even like, nothing, she- Miss uh, ROH. You know? I, I will contend. I will contend as we sit here and look at each other. She's never a nothing. She's never been, she's never done anything. You can say Ring of Honor all you want. I don't give a fuck about any of that. She's a nobody. She's still a nobody, but she's a nobody in a promotion. That of nobody's of nobody's <laughs> that, that some that some people like to like to I guess lie about to themselves or others that well listen matters if, if they're making enough to pay their bills and make a living only fine. wrestling good for them then that's something yeah let's 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 be fair 
That's, All right. that's something. I- I'll and so that. if that's if that's what's being accomplished, yeah. which I think they've had her there long enough and expanded her role enough that, that she's accomplished something. But it's also want to say everything other than, honestly, anything other than WWE or, or AEW, it's a tree falling in the fucking woods. Yep. I record, my thing records ROH every week. And every week... Except maybe once every three or four months, I'll watch an episode. Other than that, I just delete it. Yeah. Before the next one, uh, same probably with NW Wildside. Uh, I don't. Well, Wildside, I don't get. That's like internet stuff, isn't it? I don't know. I fucking uh, dude, it's uh, all Trina Woods for dude, me, man. Dude, my my Comcast gets everything. Yeah. But strangely, I don't get the channel Impact is on, so I never see Impact. If yeah. I've got to go an extra step to find it. I, we're not. We're, we're done talking. I'd forgotten Impact was still around. New Japan Wrestling. I would watch that every week if my DVR would just automatically record it. Yeah. If I got to go to a site and fucking find it yeah. and do that extra work, yeah. I only remember wrestling happens every week because it's it pops up on my DVR. But the the point being, it's like listen. There's people that we know got mm-hmm. real big heads, and there's people that we know will big time some people, and there's people we know that. When we when we talk to them, they respond, or or you will be called out. Right. Um. And there was some of the, apparently there was some of that going on. I don't know because again we have the most unreliable source of information available to us, who barely like at may wrestling have, show do thing. You he know, he may have he may have made an interpret- and it's a, a, a wild interpretation. That because somebody was wearing a piece of apparel yeah. from the fucking <laughs> company they now work at, that that oh. makes them a big timer. But what gets me is what gets me is this is this was this was the show that was supposed to be in in memory of of Rusty Brooks. And while a great majority of people will never know who or what a Rusty Brooks is, we do. And and I feel I don't know how you feel, but I feel he's a man that, I mean he's. Take it or leave it. He was responsible for South Florida wrestling right mm-hmm. now. Um, there just isn't anything down here where his fingerprint wasn't done in some capacity um, for as long as he was in the wrestling business. And uh, if you're going to do that, you run a memorial show. And we all know how a memorial show is run. And what happened last night wasn't a memorial show for a man who put in the time and was a respectful show. It was just an excuse to run a show off his back and do some fake ass pay- like, pay per view. It's but it's, I don't want to like. But it's not that. I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. I'm not shitting on anybody. Be, it, 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 and if everyone does, I fucking me and me me and Jeff are cool. Like I like J Dog. I've always liked J Dog. We've always gotten along. But like I just well, two things. I, I just, don't agree with some of that stuff, that, man. That's fair. I, I well here's the two things I th- I feel is that having not gone to the show it's hard for me to be too critical of the show which is also true um which I guess if we were going to talk about it on the podcast yeah. maybe we should have gone I'm only judging based off what I saw and heard Yeah 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 the little I did what I saw uh the back and forth the months leading up to it and what we got from Blake and there was a few posts that, you know, like the thing you posted about the angry fan. That's stupid. That's nonsense. Well, that's I didn't a, post it, but. Well, you know that you shared. The, the, no, no, no. Blake did. Oh, or, Blake shared? I think Blake oh, Blake did. shared that? Yeah, that's just nonsense. That's just. Well, there's a, it was a fan complaining. Yeah, it's stupid. Who bought a VIP thing and he didn't get an autograph or something. And I, I there's not, again, yeah. it's kind of like talking about this in general. I feel in certain aspects, there's not enough context. Yeah. For me to talk intelligently on it. Because it, it, just from that guy complaining. It doesn't explain that maybe when you bought the VIP, you had to come early for all that stuff, yeah. you know, and maybe you didn't come early enough and, and, or I don't know. It, it sounded more like user error. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, 100%. but you know, if it was you or me running a show and there was someone that was like, again, he may not even have come up to someone to, to ask or complain. No, we take care of that. They may have just felt fucked and gone home yeah. and, and wrote about it online without talking to anyone. Yeah. And if they talked to someone, again, no context. We don't yeah. know the, the how this played out. Did he go to someone and they said, well, you missed the, you missed your opportunity. You're shit out of luck. Or that guy went home. You're Again, if the guy beat feet, there's nothing anyone could do about it anyways. But uh, but if it was one of, if it was you or me and someone came to us and didn't just go home and complain about it, 
I think you and I would have said, "Well, come with us. Yeah. Let's go find the guy and let's yeah. let's do it now." And I'm sure I'm sure Jeff would have done the same. I don't know. I'm sure. He I don't know if he's same. a customer service guy or not. I'm not sure. I've seen him because I went to some. Of the, or sure. I went to some of the early Platinum shows. Um, that's actually one of the last shows I went to as like anything, a fan or anything. It's after I it's after I uh, retired. Uh, retired. That's such a stupid phrase. After after I stopped wrestling, um, and uh, he seemed to be really good. As, as a showrunner, wandering around, giving people their finishes okay. and doing their thing. I was well, impressed. Well, yeah, but that's different than dealing with the the ticket buyers. That's fair. That's and, fair. And, and he's uh, already got their money. <laughs> there's, Yes. And uh, he's a worker, like we are. Well, not me. You and, and <laughs> some of the other people that are involved with our little group. But uh, uh, he's a worker, so I don't know. But... Uh, but there's not enough context there no. from the guy's complaint for me to know whose fault yeah. it was. It could, I don't, and again, it seemed like the biggest thing he had done because he had like pay per view there and he had, you know, you're, 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 again, just like us at the, at the con, we know how busy you can be running mm-hmm. the day of the show. So someone comes up to you and it's the 18th person that's hit you up for bullshit. Maybe you ain't got time for bullshit no more, you know? Who knows? Again, it would, it would really benefit if, we knew the whole story. Yeah. But uh, someone, one person complaining is not, doesn't, doesn't lead me to believe that, uh, that things went poorly and we're in, not run efficiently at the show. It, it, it leads me to believe that someone, that that's user error. I just, you know? I just like my biggest, my biggest peeve, I guess. And it's not just the show didn't go, didn't see, we don't know. We're, we're speculating on, on, on a majority of this using just through the context that we've been given, but this should have been an hour and a half. Two hours tops, man. Just in, out. Give everybody who loved and knew Rusty. Give everyone gets a moment, you know. And you got your main event. Uh, will be, you know, that big tag match. Let them have fifteen twenty. Tell a really good story because that was a cool match to I, have. I just felt like, like some of the people that were booked. And again, Leo Rush unbooked himself by retiring. No business on that card to begin with. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't was Eric Rowan. Does he have any tie to Rusty or South Florida wrestling or, or anything like that? I, I, I know I Connor. Yeah, Connor yes. trained down here. Yeah. Yes. But 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 again, I'm, when I was looking, I, I get you want to draw people. I didn't even know until right now he had Rowan on the show. Yeah. He worked MDK, I think. Oh, that's right. You, you're right. Uh, Blake, so, Blake shared that. That's So correct. I don't know. By the way, shout out to MDK, man. Every time I see that guy, he's a he's just a pleasure to talk to. He's always in fantastic shape. And he's always a positive dude. And Blake said he had a great showing last night. So good for him. Yeah, I just had the one. We booked him and he showed up one day and decided he didn't want to do it the other three days. Yeah. You know, didn't tell us. But, you know. And then the really cool story about the old clubhouse. Yeah, we'll keep that. (laughs) That's between us. That's not a story. That's like there was a photo found on the ground. <laughs> gotta, gotta gotta make your money, brother. Mm. Gotta make your money. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, you you would uh, when it comes to a when it comes to a a show that's honoring somebody. The only people on that show should be the people that knew them that and that want to honor them. And then if you have any undercard people to fill shit, you have and usually just use greenies. Give them give them a few minutes. Let them perfect their craft in yeah. front of a crowd. That kind of shit. Or, I. It's weird because yeah. yeah and again, I don't want to name names. It was interesting who was not there. And I get that some people get bookings every week. Uh, There's a few people that... But I don't know what they're... But again, their relationships with Rusty yeah. could be very different than their relationships with Son of Rusty. Yes. So, I, I don't, and I don't know what those are. Uh, there was one name that... And we'll talk about off the podcast. I was like... Re- I wanted to bring it up in the thread, but um, I was dealing with my shit out in uh, Markham Park today. Is, isn't this difficult talking around... Every um, like ninety percent of them. well, it's just because it's it's like listen. The chances anyone, it, no one listens to this fucking podcast anyway. But the chances that but that's not true. The, the you chance, know what's funny? What you know who you know who did you see? I I don't know. I shared the maybe I only shared it with Anthony. Yeah, but uh, there was about. a there was a we were tagged the 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 social media was tagged in somebody's story, and when I went to click on it, it was Speedy, and he was listening to our podcast while he was editing. Uh, pictures. 
Oh wow! I was like, oh, that's cool. Well, shout out to Speedy. That's really cool. Yeah. So there are people listening, and they're and some of them are surprising. Yeah. I like Speedy. I love Speedy actually. Yeah. So uh, so it was funny. I was like, just out of the blue, I'm like, oh, hmm. oh okay. it makes me. You never know. And it know? makes me mad because I don't, I don't want to say hi to the Speedy and Dash. I didn't want to hi to say all these people flex and and and, and all these people. Yeah, that, I mean, that I know I really yeah. like. Yeah. You know, flex. I mean, Priscilla, Ricky. I like all those. people. All those people, man. You know, and I haven't seen in the years. Like, I can't stress this enough. When I left, I was done, and I've been done, and mm. I have not gone back. So I would love to have seen them, but man, I just, I, I, I just, I just disagree so much with the way wrestling is now that I can't, I, I, I just can't do it, man. And it I sucks. D- I'm, I'm just, I'm coming from a totally different perspective. Yeah. I just, it's, it takes such a t- tremendous fucking thing for mm. me to want to go do something now yeah. like i just don't want to it, it's not wrestling it's and there's just, people it's just like putting fucking shoes on and traveling <laughs> somewhere further than the publics to get food yeah for me it, it, it's like i can't i don't want to do yeah. it anymore yeah i i just man I would, how's uh how's your amc stock doing buddy <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's good i'm up like uh Five times my money. All right. I'm just waiting for it to be worth more. I, you know, I said, I said it, uh, I said it on the thread. I've said it here. That's when we'll run our show. I was gonna say the AMC wrestling, AMC stock wrestling, man. AMC stock wrestling. And you'll see, you'll see a, ni- a nice tight ninety minutes. Ninety minutes. Nice tight ninety minutes. Well, well, ninety minutes plus uh, all of all of you guys who can't work but want to be part of the show. We'll come out and do your like five minute promos. <laughs> nah, I'll work that. I'll work that show. Yeah, yeah. You'll put in four months of uh, training for that, Rocky. I said or- I'll work the show. <laughs> I said I'll You'll work, work it show. with your shirt on, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be Sting out there, buddy. <laughs> sting, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I would. I would get. Hey, I'm not. I will. I will say. I've said. I think I said it last week. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Uh, I will be in shape if I ever get back. I can't do that on the shirt thing. I can't do that, man. I can't do it to myself, you know? I'd have to at least look halfway respectable. Now, I'm not going to look like I used to look because I'm not going to fucking shove needles on my ass anymore, but I, I got to at least be in respectable fucking shape. Like, you're not, if anybody who ever sees me wrestle again expect to see like 255 Sean Prime. Fuck that. I don't even grow my hair out. I, I mean, I don't even need that nonsense. Too, well, yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but the, I mean, we could get 250 f- Sean Prime. Well, I can but get it 250, be... but it ain't the way you want it, no. buddy. <laughs> that's AJ scale. <laughs> yeah. Dude, by the way, that fat boy is out of control. That fat pig. You fat pig. <laughs> Uh, you fat pig. You fat pig. Uh, That's the new name of the podcast. I kept no saying, I, I don't know, I, the whole weekend I've been like, that fat pig, because I listen to the podcast, but for some reason I, I I just said that fat pig and I've taken that off. That's fine. Yeah, you fat Whatever. pig is great. Just yeah. as long as fat pig is, is in, the, <laughs> uh, <laughs> in the description. I mean, someone's got to. That guy's, speaking of stepping in a ring, he's never getting back in a ring. We we got, I think. He's done. One Saturday, when we get back to recording on Saturdays. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think we should have a surprise intervention for him. That we're, but we're not. We're not concerned. <laughs> it, it, but in our own way, in, the, in like a brutal fat shaming way. But, almost but, like a, it, would be a, it would be an intervention slash this is your life slash uh, uh, what do you call those? Uh, oh, God. Uh, okay. I hate when the word doesn't come to mind. Uh, what what are those when when everyone comes and makes fun of you? Roasts. Roast. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't I think of that? It's food know. related too. I mean, okay. So I only have one question to ask you to think about this because you can only come at this from one of two ways. You can either come out of as a concerned friend, or you can come out of it as somebody who wants the best content for uh, your podcast. Your, your it media. can't be both. It can't be both <laughs> because let's be honest. As a friend, AJ needs to lose some fucking weight. <laughs> He need, he needs he, whatever whatever crazy railroad that he's on. He's got to get the fuck off those tracks. He's got to take a moment and like I don't know, eat something green for a little while. He's he's, he's he does, but it's usually like a, <laughs> a full bowl of Jello. Yeah. <laughs> but as a as a podcast, you want that fat fuck <laughs> to just you almost wanted to get to the point to where like you like where like you guys start talking about him opening up doorways in his house. 
Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Or like I gotta put in the bigger toilet. That kind of shit. Well, he's yeah, he's gonna have to install ramps soon because he's yeah. gonna be on a. Yeah, a scooter. Yeah. as a podcast, as a pure content machine, that's the AJ one you of those, want. One of, we're going to oh. see if we can get a sponsor that sells those uh, uh, the stair lifts. Because <laughs> <laughs> the only skinny AJ that's 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 worth content is when he beats you in a in a weight loss competition mm-hmm. by a fucking half pound. And then two weeks later, he's 275 again. Right. Okay. So you only... You well, o- we both. We both. The second... Yeah. You, you only we both get, made U-turns. And- yeah. <laughs> you get two weeks out of a skinny AJ, but you get... I mean, you've stressed a... It, you've changed the name of the podcast to You Fat Pig. Well, I mean, we didn't officially change it yet. Ben, you're the one who does all the graphics. It's whatever you I know. Want. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you saw the... The, I did. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know where you wa- where you listen or watch. Billy, Billy, and Billy, and thumbnail. Billy and Bobby reacting to it so much. I was like, I gotta listen to this one. <laughs> and, and it was just, it was just a half hour of you roasting that fat pig. <laughs> well, I mean, he's out, he's completely out of control. Yes, he split his pants. <laughs> I couldn't. I, I getting I, in the car to go eat. The worst part is, I could picture that. Like, I could picture AJ move for move. Everything, that whole thing. I see you guys were talking about it. I'm like, yep, that's, yep, yep. But yep. like refusing to like yep. stop somewhere and get a. Such a dirty bitch. <laughs> it's disgusting. God damn. I know, like, <laughs> because I'm short, like hopping into the work truck with you. Yeah. I've split the crotch a little bit from time to time, but I, I patch them up. Man. Yeah. I patch them up. <laughs> this guy, and again, if it's like that bad. Yeah. We're calling it a day. Yeah. I'm going home. <laughs> I've split. I've split my uh, work pants. I I let them go to the point to where they just fucking tear out of use. Yeah, and uh, that's always an uncomfortable day, but it is what it is. Oh, but mine aren't tearing because they're out of use. It's because I'm fat, and <laughs> and the the step up is a little like yeah. if you if you don't have your pants bunched up, yeah, he uh, you'll you'll rip them. His pants are ripping just by existing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, as a concerned friend, the best route is for us to have an honest to God, like, "Hey, man, you got kids, you got to stop this shit, man." Like, uh, yeah, but that's not funny. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. My point, my point is, if you want to just have, a- I mean, we can, but we got to get like really like, oh, whoa, grim about it, like, yeah. uh, you know, Photoshop pictures of his kids standing at his grave and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if 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 you want the most content possible. You gotta tell Bobby to start just shipping as much Italian food as possible to that man's house. I don't. I don't think like he's not trying to lose the weight. No. So then it won't. It Which won't. Is like, this whole thing about a match with Billy or one last no, match. No, but I'm saying like sending him food only mm. makes sense if he's trying to lose the weight. And I understand where it's coming from because I just talking the last couple weeks and the last month of having the idea of having another match or getting back in his nonsense in my mind. I've literally gained almost twenty pounds. It's like my body goes, oh, you want to get back in the ring? Well, fuck you, fat ass. No. <laughs> you know? And it, and, and that's me, who is very hard for me to, like, really put on weight. AJ, Jesus Christ, man. They put on another person just with the idea of wrestling Billy. Yeah. it's like, It just got worse since the announcement. And uh, he's... I, I mean, listen, AJ, I know, I know, I know we're going to talk about this eventually. I don't believe you're ever going to get in a wrestling ring again. Not at this rate, buddy. He... The problem is... Not unless we start calling you Max Cap 2, okay? <laughs> yeah, once he becomes a circus attraction. Yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> once he's like the size of a Barrington Hughes. Where you don't have to bump. <laughs> right, where you're you're just a grotesquerie that they fucking grotesquerie, are... Grotesquerie, I like they're that. they're paying for you to like... A, to, paying to see a fucking... And a, you know, like I said, like something yeah. out of a freak show. Uh, <laughs> so he... Once... Once he gets to that size, though, yeah, he, I think he's got too much pride. But uh, you know what I want to do to show his face. Do you but, know what I want to do? But Billy isn't going to let him off the hook here. No, 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 no. He's yeah. he's he, especially considered he no showed Billy's kids this weekend. Well, besides that, he called Billy out for a match, talked a lot of shit, kayfabed him for a long time, like built this all up. Like Billy ain't gonna let that go. Nope. Billy, Billy's. As far as Billy's concerned, there's a receipt due. Mm-hmm. And it's either going to get paid in the ring or just a kick to the head somewhere public if, when he's least expected. If you find out that Billy's going to make a trip up there to like ring his front door. Oh, no, no, no. We'll all be there. Okay, yeah. Hiding in the bushes. Yes, yes. Okay, good, good. We're all on the same page on that. Okay, oh, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be streaming live. 
<laughs> oh, by the way, are you really going to have a podcast with Bobby? I I love that Dawes. I think I think here's what I think. I think there is absolutely an appetite for good wrestling stories. I think Bobby has some good wrestling stories. I think Billy has some good wrestling stories. I think we could do a podcast called Wrestling Stories yeah. and have the two of them yeah. kind of flip flop or or I would I would the problem is here's the problem is that I don't want to do everyone remotely. Bobby's a remote thing where I got to call him every week. We got to schedule our schedules together, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Billy lives very local, but I I feel weird going. You got to come over to record it every week. So it would have to be fa- – it's the kind of thing. If they were interested in doing something, it probably wouldn't be a regular thing, you know, like a weekly thing. It would be whenever <laughs> whenever everyone feels like doing one, you know, and has some good stories to tell. Uh, you know, I think maybe a ground rule would be that uh, maybe Bobby can't tell stories about other people on this podcast network because uh, uh, I think uh, AJ uh, uh, is uh, just lives in fear of every time I threaten that Bobby on that he's going to tell some of the... I've been in peace with all the stories that Bobby's going to tell about me. <laughs> Let it run, buddy. Let well, it run. You, yeah. You missed the good. You missed the good old days in wrestling. To be honest with you, I did. You I were did. just on the cusp. You uh, missed all the rats, road yeah. rats. I mi- I missed when wrestling was fun. Mm-hmm. I missed when it was fun. And uh, yeah, I mean, and not this not to say that I didn't have fun, but I missed the best part of the wrestling business. <laughs> you did, and that sucks. Um. You know, and anybody who thinks that currently is the best part of the wrestling business, you're so fucking naive. It's 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 not even worth making fun of you. Well, I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure what that means. Look, like no, but the, I'm sure because it's generational. The new generation probably looks down on my generation and thinks that right now they're doing it right. Like the fucking, you know, all the, all the people, all the people that think the young bucks are the, the fucking great thing. Well, you but, know, and that and that style of wrestling, you know. They're they're they look down on on the and it's so on and so forth. Like we look down on how everyone was treated the 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 generation before. It's just a generational thing, man. But but I I think we can all be honest that wrestling where it's at now and where it was fucking ten fifth twenty. I mean it's it's not even it's night and day, man. Yeah. It's night well, and day. if you go even go back a little further, like twenty five thirty years ago, it's it was it was a totally different scene. Now, guys for the most part, go to their room and stream on Twitch or, uh, you know, watch anime yeah. instead of yeah. doing blow off fucking rats emo- and emotionally stunted 30 year olds and drinking a bottle of Jack every night. And you know, what now? No, I'm Nobody, s- oh, yeah, ba- I'm ba- no, no, but ba- yeah, I'm saying it's, it's a, it's, it's night and day. It's different plans. Yeah, they, they've, they've got their, their, their Bud Light seltzers now. No, they they didn't even half of them don't even drink. They just fucking uh, my buddy's a temple. No, they go and stream on Twitch or uh, or uh, you know soft ass motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, so a follow up. So a follow up to last week. Well, I don't even. Know we heard from sources that Gator Boone had a good showing. Oh, oh, what what was it? see again? Our sources trash though. <laughs> not not on the Gator Boone review. <laughs> I feel like he's. He's stingy about giving. So if he said something complimentary about someone, it, it's probably valid. But uh, more like the information, like any follow up yeah. at all. Oh, yeah. No. He was like he called you out and like, I'm sitting there like staring at the screen going, and like, <laughs> what does that mean? I guess Did he do I, that to Blake personally. I think Did he, he get yeah. on a mic in the ring. <laughs> I mean, was it something in between? I pro- like, I who, promise like, you, I I promise you, my name was was brought up exactly zero times last last night <laughs> by anybody. So. Oh, you you think Blake was ribbing you? What? No, I mean like a Gator maybe, but like no, like nobody gives a fuck, man. Well, no, but that's what I'm saying. I, he says he says, oh, you called out Marco, and I'm like, how, where, in in what context? Garbage. He's garbage. And the worst thing is, like, I have him on. My Facebook when he was a fan on my Sean Prime page, he hasn't hit me up. Like if he wanted to, like you know, hey, do you want to do this or hey, are you really thinking about getting the? If any any kind of actual information, he has he has connections to me. So 
Uh, and, and I would, uh, I would entertain them. I'd at least, I'd, I'd walk into the rabbit hole, look around, and go. Mm. Makes makes your big gesture of I would, I would do a show with you. Really, yeah. really, really less of a, a a big deal when you would also do a show with Gator Boo. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. man, if you ran a show, I'd yeah, get in shape yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I'd also wrestle Gator Boo. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> well, gee, thanks, Marco. What, I will. What a what a sport you are. I will wrestle. <laughs> I will wrestle people, and I will wrestle places that what I you're, feel. What you're, what you're saying is you would get in shape to do our show, and for Gator Boo, you would just show up as is. I, I would still be the best in shape between the two of us. So, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. I just want to feel better about that. Yeah, I can, I can wear jeans against that offer. motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's not against him, but come on, Gator. You know, you're not, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't have to show up in my athletic prime. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> we can just, uh, we can just punch each other until, you know, someone, someone says stop, <laughs> mm. <laughs> which is fine too. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're probably, uh, fully healed from all your concussions at this point. I, my, physically, I feel great. Yeah. I'm. I mean, I honestly. So you could feel, take a few. I feel good. I, I feel like. Uh, uh yeah. I, I. I feel like. Uh, I feel like I could spend a good solid like four or five months, like you know, just like run and that kind of shit that you know that you kind of need to do if you want to do wrestling and go. Okay, I could do this again. And yeah, you know, I'd fucking. I mean, nothing's gonna happen until uh, we're you know six seven months in with the baby, but. Um, uh, because I, I feel like that would be really stupid of me to have a wrestling match like a fucking five four months from now with a fucking three month old <laughs> get hurt or some shit like now let's let the baby actually like uh, let's let's go a little while with it you know <laughs> let's get her moving a little bit before uh, daddy decides to do something stupid with his body um no I would I, I would still I would still probably entertain it I'd at least entertain it I wouldn't say I would do it or not. If he hit me up and we talked about it and we both realized that we could do this, maybe he has a home promotion in Tampa, Port St. Lucie, fucking Ocala, uh, okay. I don't really fucking know where his home promotion is. I know it's north of the state. You know, I would do it up there in front of his fans because mm-hmm. um, they know him. And that if his home promotion and he's over there, oh, I can do fucking business there. I'm not doing business down here. Not unless you run your shit, you know, or we do something. How or- much are you going to ex- ask for to wrestle? Huh? It's fucking. It's the indie wrestling, indie wrestling. Oh, for oh, for, up there. Oh, he's covered my gas at least. Hundred <laughs> percent covering my gas. <laughs> I um, love how you settled into the fucking. Yeah. You're not like oh, I gotta get at least 150. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You l- <laughs> listen, man. I'm. It's time out of my day, man. It's time out of my day, and and, and I need to scratch an itch. But, like, if Gator Boo wants to wrestle me, yeah. I'm getting paid. I'm getting his pay. Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, he gets, he's going, at the end of the day, he's the one that benefits the most out of this because I'm going to put him the fuck over. It, however long our program is, three, four, five months, I don't give a fuck. He's going to be the one at the end of the day who sh- who shines the brightest between. How many months? I don't know. You know, I don't, I want you, you, you talk like everything you ever start ever goes more than that first fucking show yeah, I, know, ben. I have i have so much five like, month yeah, program get the yeah. fuck out of here well you know it's why it's like hey i've got a home promotion we've been working show steadily for two years oh okay we can do something and uh, if it's just a one-off and after the first show oh, uh, if it's a uh, prime they went out of business oh <laughs> i could put another one under my belt <laughs> No, another another no, feather in your cap. Nobody's been a champion of more fucking uh, out out promotions than another, I have. Another scalp collected <laughs> on your belt. <laughs> I think the last year and a half, I dropped three of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you're going to be our long running champion. We got no more money. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. damn. <laughs> or all the times Drew and I were going to do something and yeah. fucking shit happens. We, uh, did, have we told the, the, the whole story of Atlanta in its entirety? And that fucking nonsense about you going with him? Yeah, when he got the booking, we were gonna do when we were trying to do the tag thing. No, fucking, I I don't know if we have time to do it now. Because this time, what do you got to do? Oh, that's right, you got fucking commitments. Yeah, I got commitments today. Uh, family commitments would have been my uh, today's the uh, the fortieth anniversary of my parents. Well, would have been so we're taking my mom out, and uh, I think if I'm not. If I'm not mistaken, excuse me. There's no way we're podcasting on Saturday because <laughs> that'll be the eight year anniversary. All right, and I'm not going to well, be good for shit on Saturday. All right. Maybe Friday when I get back home from work. What do you do? Just like 
loose with the schedule. We're mm. assuming that I'm just at your back. I'm call. sorry, Ben. What do you have going on Friday? I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> See, you always play these games, but I'm but on the back of my mind. I'm like, Ben never leaves. But I'm, I, but, but it's not like I don't like settle into these days where I don't have to do this and enjoy those that's, tremendously. That's so then when yeah. like Saturday, we don't do it. And then I'm like, oh, we're bumped to Sunday. And then Sunday, you're like, I can only do one of the two we're doing. And then I'm, ch- and then I'm oh. worrying about the, and then I'm like, like, all kinds of days where I don't normally do this, I got to fucking do this with you. Then I'm like, we don't oh. have to do it. Well, we got to keep our schedules, man. Speedy, man, he's got probably other podcasts he can listen to while That's he edits. True. I don't want to lose him. Yeah, I don't want to lose him. Uh, we got to pump out our four. Speedy, days. buddy, listen. If you could just like, uh, if you can just give us the bump with all the, uh, he probably that might have been the only one he listens to. He's probably. I wouldn't make any appeals to him. They're. Yeah. Probably fall. I'd make on. appeals to anybody to listen to this fucking nonsense. <laughs> anybody, for God's sakes, please. Something. Yeah. We're both tired. Well, one of us is tired of having a job, and one of us probably wants to be Has making settled in <laughs> comfortably to not having a job. <laughs> well, if <laughs> we'll have that conversation off the air. Oh my God. <sighs> oh, you're, you, Mister. I, I'd love to not have to work anymore. It's like, well, you gotta, you gotta put a little more into this than. <laughs> It don't just happen. You don't just. You don't just. Two years in, I think this is where we're at, listen, brother. Shit in one hand, mm. wish in the other. See which one fills up first. <laughs> oh, uh, what do you? What do you? What? What else? What else? We we covered. I was we just, covered all the big hot topics. Gator Boone. <laughs> I was just really disappointed. AJ being fat. Yeah, uh, we we can cover that topic every week. I mean. It's a topic that keeps growing. So. It's funny. It's like the theme of all of yeah. the only one we don't do it on is the nerd content one. Uh, he'll get fat enough at some point. He'll just he'll just like squeeze on in there. It'll be like it'll be like the fat guy whose arm hangs over your mm. armrest and the and the plane. I think if you guys had a weight loss competition at this point, it might kill him. It might kill me too. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I mm. listen. This is one of those weekends where the roommate isn't home, and I'm mm. I somehow got volunteered into watching the dog. Dude, I, I fucking took him out this morning. Dude, just walking back up the stairs. <laughs> I I realize I've become so inactive. You have the same. You have the same cardio as my pregnant wife. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, mm, she might she might uh, be able to beat me in a foot race right now. Uh, <laughs> It'll be the saddest foot race. <laughs> It'll be like one of those ones you see on TikTok where it's two fat people running and they both they both just face plan after like three like, steps in. Yeah. You just pull up the gentleman's agreement. You're done. Yeah. So you hear, you hear someone's fucking whole knee snap, crackle, and pop, and the other person just face plants because well they just can't balance their weight like, when they're moving above a half a mile an hour. Um. Yeah, yeah. I think I think starting Monday, it's going to be a little bit of a get uh, get back on a wake up schedule where uh, before I do anything, I do a, a little bit of like physical movement. Rolling out of bed and cooking yourself breakfast isn't physical movement. That's I know. <laughs> uh, unless I'm doing squats in the kitchen while the fucking bacon's cooking. Ah, free squats. Yeah. Uh, Got to get deep there, buddy. Got to yeah. get those. Uh... Going to activate everything down we there. Gotta, we got to get baby <laughs> steps. Yeah. We'll, work, we'll work our way down. <laughs> as long as the knee is bending, yeah. <laughs> I think that's that's all I'm going to ask for that first week. Uh, I keep telling myself, I'm like, this is the week. I'm going to at least try to get back into shape. It never fucking happens. Mm-hmm. Um, which makes everything else we talk about with me ever potentially coming back to a ring fucking null and void if I can't if I if I can't justify getting down to do a set of push ups. <laughs> right. Because I don't want to go over to this fucking fagazi ass fucking gym we've got. Um with all the fucking That's perfectly fine. Dude, every time I walk past there and I see the people in the gym and what they're doing in there, I'm just like, Y'all just better off staying at home. <laughs> they're doing more than you, ma'am. This is true. I will get you know what? You are right. You they're they're Fuck it, they're trying. <laughs> I've never, unless someone's just being a total clown in there, like, mm. you know, doing an exercise wrong or something, you know, like those, you see those videos of the people on the cable machines doing all kinds of ridiculous <laughs> shit. Hanging um, upside down and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but as long as they're actually just in there doing something, I, I have no right to make fun of anyone. Yeah. No right. Yeah. They've, they're, they're, they're showing up and they're doing something. But there's certain people that are like, oh man, I'm six months in, I'm doing all this shit. And you look at them and like, what are you doing? 
Yeah. Cause you're not going to the gym, working you're, out. You're snorting crushed Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, you've been in the gym. What's your diet look like? Uh, uh, you know, I, I get the vegan free, uh, the, the 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 Burger King. Oh, all right, ten four. I, I eat all, as many Lenny and Larry yeah. cookies as I can. Oh, fucking. Oh my god! Watch out there! Watch face. out there! The, Billy will hear you. Hmm. He, he loves in Lenny and Larry shit. Yeah, but I mean, he's he's immortal. He's like he is immortal. He's he's unchangeable. Uh, He's the way he was. Yeah. He's like Paul Rudd. He just never, he never does. So he can eat those cookies. Yeah. But I'm sure if you look at the nutritional content of his cookies, I'm sure they got like high calories. Dude, and... it's sawdust and glue. Okay, mm. I've, I've eaten them. Okay, it ta- they taste like sawdust. All right, and uh, the 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 uh, Snickerdoodle has a slight covering of like uh, uh, cinnamon on top. So you know, you're like, oh, this isn't so bad. But the, I I can't eat them. I just what you're looking at me. I, d- I don't know. I've never, I've never paid four dollars for a single cookie, so I wouldn't know. I wanted cookies, but I didn't want to break my diet. I'm like, well, these got to be healthy. They're they're sold at the health store. No, <laughs> they're not. No. <laughs> they're not. It's just sawdust. <laughs> well, well, fat man, uh, the uh, what's his name that uh, always uh, every every six months to a year posts like three gym photos. Uh, was a big fan of those Lenny and Larry cookies. I think he was trying to get sponsored or something. Was he booked last month, last night? I don't know. Hmm. I I would say like, oh, know. you know, I don't know who was. I don't know who trained under Rusty. I assume he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. You I know, mean, I really got to hit up. I I got to hit up our source and be like, what was the card last night? Just so I know everybody was there. Well, do you really need him, or can you just go online and look up the card that's been uh, advertised on social media for? Like you could go to. Platinum Pro Wrestling and look up the card. It's been. I could. Yeah, it's been advertised forever. The, the actual card. Yeah. How else know. do you fucking promote a show, dude? I, that's a good question. I'm wondering <laughs> myself. Or type in Rusty Brooks Memorial Show. It should pull up the thing. Anyway, but for sure, do it while we're podcasting. Because... Oh yeah, no, it's it's, it's important. <laughs> it's important. Oh. No, I want to know. I want to know because uh... I understand you want to know. But... Oh, this is the whole card. Oh, oh, crazy how that works. I don't know these people. Do you do you understand that nobody this is the only way people promote now is they make a they make an event page and just assume people will come to the show. They don't they don't even flyer anymore. They don't Jesus Christ. Half these people never even knew Rusty. Right. Well and and again, some of them are scratches, like AJ and Leo Rush and God only knows who else. I mean, nothing against any of them. Some of these are fine workers, I'm sure, but they never met the man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if they, again, uh, if they're if they can draw, if if it's one of the people that can draw, that's something. I didn't see know. any fucking human being that was on that undercard. That Rowan, can, oh, no, on the undercard. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were. Just, you don't know. You could have three Adrian Moraleses on there that each come with a hundred. There's ticket only buyers. one Adrian Morales with all his ticket buyers, brother. I assure you, <laughs> uh, that guy. That you and him would have the match on my a- AMC show. Yeah, because you knew you'd have a packed house. You just have to put him as main because the second he's done wrestling, they all leave. <laughs> that's, that's fucking true. He definitely has to be after the fucking intermission. No, that's and and that's not that's not why, but it's a reason why Adrian was champion for as long because every fucking time we had a show and his match was over. It was it was just like the lights come on and everyone goes ah time to go well that's that's uh and then me and Biggs would wrestle in front of fucking twenty people that's the, <laughs> that was that was a problem with, I went to that uh, local MMA show at the War Memorial was that you'd have se- just huge sections in the audience oh and as they're and when that fighter uh, was done fighting that section left and they were all like friends and family yeah you know yeah I mean the promoter doesn't care because. Uh, for MMA because they got your money. It also doesn't matter. Listen, they're not shooting the crowd in MMA. You're, 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 and you're not like riding the emotion for your storytelling. You know, your best match doesn't have to be your main event. Your main event just has to be the match that leaves that sends the crowd home happy, which is Adrian going over in front of his fucking friends and family. Yeah, I mean that that gives everybody a nice happy little fucking yarn. And maybe if you ran another show, five fucking percent of them would be like, I hey, come back and see it again. Also, like if we had any names on our show, uh, they'd probably be super grateful to be done early. Oh yeah, the, no, none of them want to work the. Nobody, main. listen, nobody, nobody, nobody who does it, who does it all the time, 
wants to sit there all fucking night. But fucking get, hey, listen, man. Second, third, look, get me out. I'll yeah, fucking, yeah. I'll fucking jerk it. Whatever, you know, to get me out. Yeah. <laughs> I loved fucking uh, jerking the curtain, man. You get the crowd fresh. You can mold them any way you need to. Have the match you want. You're out, and by the time match three is out there, you're dude. You're just chilling. You're. It's funny because when we did the, when we did the, the match with hacksaw, and it had hacksaw and it had uh, Greg Valentine and it had uh, Slaughter all involved with it. That the man, the the agent Jimmy, the yeah, the. the I mean the dwarf, midget, yeah. whatever, whatever. I I think in the wrestling circle you can still use the midget word. So uh, he made a request because that was gonna be the main, but because our show starts at like nine o'clock at the thing, he was like, no, no, no. These and I forgot that they're all like these old times. They're all in their seventies. They're all like, man, we gotta yeah. fucking go to bed. <laughs> it, 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 we can't be yeah. wrestling at eleven. It all worked out <laughs> for it to be the first thing to happen. That yeah, night. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think even like even Helms was like, "Hey man, I I don't want to be the main. I want to like kind of like he's the same as all the other guys. Yeah. It's like I want to go fucking. I think I think that night he wanted to go watch the MMA, the the UFC at the like a bowling alley. Oh something. my god! Did you ever hear that story? No. He went. It was probably that weekend. Um, he went to like a bar, bowling alley, whatever. They were watching uh the fight. And uh, Momoa went too, Jason Momoa. And they were all hanging. My friend Robert, that you know, was there. So he was the one who told me all this. Helms bet Momoa on one of the fights. And I think Momoa was being a homer with like maybe a Hawaiian guy or something. Oh, probably like a Mark, uh, uh, Mark Hunt or something. So, so it wasn't Mark Hunt, but it was. Uh, and and There's Helms, only a few of them. Helms bet him like cash money on it. Ooh. And fucking Helms. Guy won, oh. and uh, you like Momoa's fucking mood just totally changed. Just, oh. B Momoa didn't have the cash on him, so because he had the cash on there, I think Helms felt like double bragging rights because they were all friendly and talking shit yeah. before, but then all of a sudden his guy lost and his mood changed. But Helms doesn't give a fuck. And was just like fucking needling him for the rest of the night. Because Momo is many things, but he's not part of the wrestling business, so no. he doesn't get that shit. No. Where, where it's like, oh, you, sh oh, oh, this is, yeah, all right. Uh, oh, oh yeah. now you talked all that yeah, shit. All now that shit. Now you're going to hear I it. I will never let you forget this. <laughs> so the next day I was like, uh, I went up to him. I said, I, I, I hear you were giving Momo the business all night after. <laughs> he was like, yeah, man, he can't fucking, he's a sore loser. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> I was listening to uh, uh, Dan Levitar's got his new new show on and uh, streaming live on YouTube, and they had Scotty Pippen on, and he was talking about uh, how competitive, and we all know how competitive Jordan was, but just like that kind of shit, where like if he ever lost something, he would just immediately become like a fucking shit face, you know, angry motherfucker, yes. and everything changed, and it was all good as long as he was winning, right? <laughs> and how he would bend rules and cheat to make sure that you know. Ad, he was in the most advantageous spot, like when uh, he would bet people that his luggage would always be the first luggage out when they come off. Such like, dumb gambling, yeah. degenerate shit. And, and Pippin was like, Pippin was like, that was back in those days. We didn't have team luggage. If your luggage had the jump man on it, they knew it was Jordan's. So of course it always came out first, right? Because they always like, oh, it's Michael Jordan shit, you know that kind of stuff. He's like, he's like, now he's like, I didn't know if he bet people money, but he probably did. Jordan, Jordan was one of those guys that bet people on everything. Yeah, yeah, that's why I, bu I believe the the conspiracy that he was forced to leave basketball for a couple of years because he was that much of a degenerate gambler. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how else does a guy who has won the last three NBA titles all of a sudden decide I'm done? Yeah, <laughs> in his prime <laughs> to go to go play fucking yeah. Yeah. Baseball. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's not how that works, buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, shit. I've got stuff to do. And uh, Yeah, this was one of them. I know, and I got it off. We did it. See, buddy? We did it. Speedy can be happy to have something to listen to while he, he edits. Listen, He'll never listen to this podcast. Don't cater to him. What? You're, i got to cater to anybody who'll give us their ears. But I'm just saying, like... Margaret, I, Like, Speedy. I feel like that might have been a fluke, and that, like... Uh, <laughs> a fluke? 
he he listened to it. He tagged us in it, but yeah. was like, "Yeah, I can't listen to these guys again. They're awful." Yeah. Oh, that's probably because of the, the. It's probably because of that fat pig. Yeah. Well, he's <laughs> he's he's got a problem. We might have to fix him. AJ, if we have an intervention with you, it's out of complete love. But yeah, we yeah. need you to stay as fat as possible. For sure, we know <laughs> he's not listening. No, 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 no. He's busy no. stuffing his face and uh, yeah. making TikToks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Everybody, I'm like, calling it. subscribe, we're, that we're, nonsense. We're just over that magical hour. So. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye.